what Robert Saltzman is, is perceptions, feelings, thoughts, emotions, beliefs. I can't stand outside of myself and judge anything. This is it. What the caterpillar calls my death, the rest of the world calls a butterfly. Robert's experience is that Robert has to keep dying. You're just distracted from seeing this thing. It's very clear. The story we tell ourselves is really buffed up. If I could see myself without that story, everything would really be okay, but it's just scary because you don't know what will happen when you awaken. You don't know. In my case, I, I lost my art career. It was gone. It went away. I'm not sorry it went away. I don't really recommend this to anyone. If you are happy in the life you have now, don't try to awaken. You won't like it. It's only for people who really feel that something is not as it should be. Who am I? Who is this I that is dissatisfied? But once you ask yourself that question, it's a big question and it may not end for quite a while and you may have to go through a lot before you get an answer to that if you ever do. I can't make you awaken. I can manifest that, manifest it constantly. And then when you start asking me about it, I can tell you what it isn't. And then when you come to me claiming to be awake, which is what happens, I can tell you, no, you're not. This isn't it. You may think it's it, you may feel good. You may think you're better than the people around you, but that's not it. What can be known and how can it be known? That's what each human being needs to find out, assuming that that person wants to be what we're calling awake. is in there if I could only decipher it and decode it enough really you believe that I'm not criticizing the teachers they have a role to play and the role to play is to keep you entertained so that you don't awaken. That's why people pay the money. They don't want to get into something really deep. found something and they want to share it and they're lying but they're making a living and I understand that because it's quite painful actually to see things as they are it's not it's not such an easy matter 
we actually don't know what any of this is. No one knows how any of this got here. None of it. May say, may call that not knowing God, but hanging a name on the incomprehensible does not make it real. It doesn't make it any realer than it is, and it doesn't explain anything. Nobody knows anything about how any of this got here, where it's going, what's it for, what it is, none of that. That's unknown. In the moment that you, that one, really understands human limitation and stops imagining that Ramana or whoever got it, really knows, really knew. As soon as that fantasy, I call it, disappears, you are awake and you won't be going back to sleep anymore. people say they want to be awake but they really don't want that what they want to do is improve the life they have and there's nothing wrong with that I don't criticize that it's fine if that's what you want and you know that's what you want you won't become confused have one question. What's wrong with now? What's wrong with waking up right now? Why should I give up this one life I have? Why should I spend this life seeking when I can live? And instead of dealing with my pain by getting on a path with a promise that if I follow this eventually, then I'll feel okay at the end. Maybe there's a way to feel okay about it right now. Maybe I've never even tried that. This is it. The next moment will be something else. It keeps changing. It keeps flowing. There isn't anything else. And yet I'm telling you that I have no questions and I'm satisfied. There's nothing else. I can't become something. That would never occur to me. This, this moment is so rich. This moment is amazing. It really is.